there's a thing called the whole and then there's parts. And as long as we believe in the parts, we're afraid of the whole. It's, the whole is spooky. You know how they say the whole is greater than the sum of the parts. Well, the whole is real and the parts are not. That's why it's so spooky. And that's why we have fears being identified with a, a human being, being identified with the flesh. The Course is taking us in another direction. It's saying, one of the lessons is, I am not a body, I am free, I am still as God created me. Taking us into that divine presence, that divine order that was created by God. Where all of our thoughts are thoughts that we think with God. And all of the ego is just nothing more than the attempt to think apart from God. Or think against God. So that's why we're opening to learn forgiveness. We're not here to forgive the truth. The truth is just what is. It's, it's forgiving what the ego made. It's forgiving this puff of nothingness. It's forgiving this, this resistance, this reaction to God, this death wish. We have to learn to forgive it in our minds. And as long as we are invested in the world of form, as long as we are invested in the parts and the particles and, and all of that fragmented perception, then forgiveness escapes us. You might say that you have to see the world in a unified way before it disappears from your awareness and you realize that you are only love and light. That unified perception is what forgiveness is. So when we talk about forgiving people even, which is what human beings often do, forgiving people, and the Bible says you have to forgive 70 times 7, and some of us have tried that, that's 490 times and it doesn't work. It, it's, we say, what's going on? If I've done something wrong, I followed the instructions, uh, I followed the formula there and it's still there. It means that we have to be so immersed in purpose, so guided by spirit, that our entire perception of the world fuses together. So we're coming back to a fusion of perception. Now perception is just a witness, it's not a fact. And I had students back in the 1990s that used to, they would read the Course and then they would, they would have a sentence and they would say, stop everything. Jesus is saying in the Course, no one can be angry at a fact. Now tell me what a fact is, before we go any further. And I would say, God is a fact, Christ is a fact, and no one can be angry at a fact. But there's nothing perceptual that is a fact. It's very ephemeral, it's very temporary, it's always shifting and changing, moving, moving, moving. There's nothing stable about perception until we have a unified purpose that stabilizes all the events, that brings our mind to a sense of detachment from form outcomes, detachment from expectations, even detachment from goals and ambitions that used to be important. It doesn't matter when you seem to come to this unified perception, it could be on your deathbed. You may simply be having an experience of dying or, as they say in unity, making your transition. But you have an instant where you realize everything is unified and you simply rise up in that perception, welcoming the truth, welcoming that oneness. Doesn't matter what the form is, there's no particular time except for now that, that can be realized.